Hey Taurus, welcome to Instinctual Tarot. I'm Drayden, and um, I'm here to do y'all weekly. And there is no timestamp on this. It's whenever you view it. That's when the messages become relevant to you when you're supposed to hear it. And um, this message may not resonate with everybody. You know, check your moon, sun, Venus signs see your placements and see where this might resonate in your life and um i prayed off camera but i'm gonna send all you guys love and light and hope that these messages find you in goodwill and i'm about to jump right in we're gonna use the radiant tarot first see what's popping Some of you may be looking for a job right now. That may be the first thing on you on your mind. For some of you, a job might be getting on your nerves. <laughs> that may be the first thing on your mind. You might want to switch jobs. Go into business for yourself. That can be the first thing on some of you guys' mind. Oh, yeah. Definitely contemplating on doing different type of work. And you're conflicted in it. Worrying if you have the funds, if you have the time. For some of you. Worrying if it's too much. But the star says, you will get it. And there's something you don't know about. All right. Sorry about that. But let's get right into these. Well, in the first placement, you have the higher fence. So that speaks of institutions, um, places, bosses of higher standard, um, places you would want to go, intuitive things on how to conceive on your own money, how to do things in your own way for some of you Tauruses out there. Some of you see growth and benefits in your own, um, your own art, what you do um to make your own money to you know the things we do personally are the things that eventually makes us rich not the jobs that we hold um for other people you never get rich those are just to pay your bills right so these talk about you moving into another light of thinking of other things to do with your time with your money with your efforts um and that's beautiful, yes. And that leads to the temperance card. Temperance speaks of a give and take. And I always say between yourself, it's um, the pull and take and patience of having um, a certain balance to the way you think and the way you perceive in things, the knowledge you hold. Um, temperance is always the patience that you give yourself in the mind so coming from a place of wanting to change things as far as your jobs or the way you make money you're giving yourself time and patience you're um, going through your emotions to see if those are the things that or how to assess those things moving forward basically you always realize the best things or how to move forward when you're subject to sitting and sitting with them thoughts. That means, you know, not drinking, not smoking. Some of you are trying to um, be clear and focus at this time. But your earth sign is definitely really hitting you right now. <laughs> so that's good. So, um, 
yeah, taking the time to understand where you're going forward to next. And that leads to the five of wands, which speaks of a conflict. This conflict can be between others. Maybe some of you are planning on moving forward with your own jobs and logics and you're assessing that in your mind and maybe your husbands or wives are not really feeling the change of how that would bring you know um Juan speaks of thoughts so how that would bring I'm sorry Juan speaks of feelings Source speaks of thoughts Juan speaks of feelings so there's more of um a conflict between how that would bring within your house you know, wands would, how you feel, and then how your intuition is leading you, vice versa to how it would make the family feel, <laughs> you know, that can be the conflict there for some of you guys. It can be the conflict between yourself and how you have to move forward, and maybe it's heavy on your heart that things um seem heavy, things seem like they're not moving the way, you know, they should to yourself. Because when you're going forward in certain type of business, um, you know how many hats it takes for you to wear. So maybe some of you are overwhelmed by moving forward in these certain things in your life coming from a superior part of your life. Which leads to the seven of pentacles seven of pentacles speaks about someone uh i always say nourishing their money <laughs> looking at it and making sure progress steady taking account of what is there so moving forward you'll know where you stand in these situations of business and logic <laughs> This man knows he has a passion for things he want to move forward, hence the orange. But he also knows that he has to be steady and diligent in how he moves with his money. And within that, that can say that maybe certain situations within wanting to move forward you feel that you don't have enough money. You feel that you don't have enough going forward within that. Which leads to the Ten of Wands. Which makes make me feel that certain people feel that they have a lot to carry. And within had a lot to carry, that could be Coming from this five and feeling like you don't have enough and feeling like that is way over too much of what you need to bear. Or some of you can be in the thick of this right now already started your business, going through the emotions of having it, assessing where you're at in the mind, looking at your tangible things, the funds, the product. And feeling overwhelmed or feeling like you have too much or some of you handling this too much very well. Because in every business going forward, there's always going to be a certain conflict. It doesn't have to be between another. It can be you um, doing paperwork. You're handling the business of the situation. But I see some of you out there very well handling this load. Encouraged. Some of you see your funds from your investments very well. I'm telling you, Taurus, about their money. <laughs> Not playing, which leads to the star card. The star card speaks of someone noticing their inner true power of what they can actually do. <laughs> I always said it, it's, it's the true number one card.
card. Because um, once you know your star power, you, you know, there is basically nothing that can stop you. So through this situation, even having too much on your plate still leads to still leads to a place where you have stabili stability, sorry. And just like they always say, you have everything you need in this process of going forward. Even if you're in a business and you have a boss that right now you don't see eye to eye, maybe it's one of them partnership situations and you have an idea and you know um, that's a way you can link your business in. Maybe they're um, unopposed to letting you in. In that situation, for some of you Tauruses out there. And the way you feel about that is you feel like I can go on my own. It'll be hard, but I'll win. Yes, you will. <laughs> yes, you will. For some of you out there. On the bottom of the deck, which I call the world this is the outer energy there's some things that people are not telling you about moving forward and going forward that you don't see and just because you don't see it right now doesn't mean you're not going to you're very much just going to know what it is these people are talking about about the business of you moving forward not that it's even relevant because, see, all these people are alone. Last placement. Yeah. Always somebody talking. But you focus on your money. Hmm. This Elemental Toro is Everything is by Melinda Lee Horn. And when I tell you, it's just like everything. Her depictions are wonderful. We're going to clarify this situation. Well, I guess this situation is about your money. Those that want to know, yes, money is coming. You're going to be looking at it. Whether there's hard situations and moving forward... And those in business, keep going. You're going to see results soon if you are not looking at them already. I swear, my readings be clear cut when I do three cards. I mean, six cards. <laughs> Go back to nine. So. The high priestess, is that? Okay, that's the high friend. Yeah. So this one again. The eight of swords. Again. So to me, this speaks very much of looking at things from a higher perspective because you feel like you don't have all the information. So about this situation, you feel, eh, came up twice, you feel that you don't have all this information about moving forward in the success of your businesses in your endeavors. That can be um, buying your home Situation, situating your children in different schools. Worried about the children and them not being in school now. For some of you. But it all boils down to you feeling as if 
there's things you don't know. But um, eventually, by assessing what you have and still going within that situation, you're going to end your end goal perfectly. There's nothing blocking you. Even carrying heavy loads doesn't mean you're not handling them. None of them is touching the ground. You'll be all right. You'll be excellent, actually. Perfect. It's getting past this point of feeling as if you don't have all the information. When we start these businesses and handle these situations, um, no, we don't have all the information. There are some things we miss. We take losses. But that's where the experience come in at when you got it. You got it after the mess up. You got it after the hiccups. So there might be challenging moments, but that's where you got to keep going because that's when the fruits of your labor are going to hit you abundantly. So those that are discouraged and in the thick of it, keep going. Those that are in the beginning and starting it, don't stop. No mind. Nobody. You got it. The information may not be there, but it's coming in. And you'll have all your answers freely. So if they're trying to make you charge for it, <laughs> and you're looking like, I don't have it to put that in there, um, some of you can wait it out. Some of you know what exact information you need to move forward. So some of you are opposed of going forward in those, all right, y'all about your money today. <laughs> and I like it. Taurus, that was your reading for this week. Um, if that resonated, I want you guys to like, share, do all that good stuff. Um, you can hit me on any social media. I am Dre Eden. This was Instinctual Tarot, and I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>